today I want to talk about quantified Boolean statements. And whenever we talk about quantified Boolean statements, we need something like a domain. And what we're going to use today, our domain, is this collection of sheep. We'll also need some propositional statements to work with, so I have a few. The first is that all sheep are either white or they are black sheep. And so I'll use a proposition statement to say a sheep is black. The other one I'm going to use is that I've drawn lines between two sheep, and that's corresponding to these sheep are near each other. I'm going to say near enough to, you know, be within earshot. And if I don't have the line, then they are not close enough. So armed with these two propositions, bx and nxy, we're going to state a few things uh, using quantified Boolean statements uh, about this flock of sheep, and we're going to judge whether or not they're true. Let's consider Boole quantified Boolean statement 1. And let's unpack this statement carefully. What it's saying, for all x, if x is a black sheep, then there does not exist a sheep y, such that y is a black sheep, and x is near y. And this is a true statement, because if I look at any black sheep, any of the nearby sheep are white, not black. So if I look at any black sheep, x, and any other sheep, y, either y fails to be black but is nearby, or y is black but is not nearby. So this way, all, all the black sheep are spread out and they're not near each other. Let's consider our second statement. There exists an x such that for all y, being uh, x is near y implies that y is black. This is saying there is some sheep x such that for all y, if y, x is near y, then y is black. So this is saying things like, well, look at this sheep. It's, it says, well, if this guy's nearby, he must be black. That's, that part's true. However, this sheep here is near this sheep, but is not black. Therefore, this sheep is a counterexample to the statement that for all y being near, where this is x, for all y being near x is equivalent to, be, it implies being black. Look here. This is an example we can use to show that this is true. So this sheep here has two black neighbors. If I look here, if uh, I take this as being my x, my specific x, and I look at any other sheep y, either, like for instance, this sheep does not is not near this sheep, so therefore the implication is satisfied. But these two sheep, the implication is is necessary, where this these are the ones that are nearby, but they are both black. And therefore this statement is true. Let's look at this third and final quantified Boolean statement. It's a really long one, so let's step through it. For all sheep x, either, I have an or here, x is black and there does not exist a y such that y is black and nearby x, or x is not black and there exists a y such that y is black and nearby. So this is essentially saying, no matter, if I'm, for all x, if I'm black, then I need to have that I'm not near a black sheep, or, or if I am white, then I am near a black sheep. So here I see that all my black sheep are away from white ones, but also all of my white sheep are nearby uh, at least one black sheep. To make this statement would be false if I add, drew another sheep here. This sheep in the, the box is a counterexample to this third statement. If I make x be this sheep, well, it's not black, so therefore this side fails, but it's white, and, but there does not exist a nearby sheep that is black. So this is a counterexample to this statement. 